Hello one and all and welcome to Seeing Through Glass and my final day in Monaco. So as you can see it is an insanely beautiful Monday here. Top marks is over, most of the spotters have gone home. So I thought it's probably a good opportunity to bring my car down, do a self-indulgent photo shoot. Oh yes! Um, and have a chat to you. So I thought I'd just take an opportunity to have a quick chat and a quick update on the 4C because bloody hell this car has been incredible on this trip. So tomorrow I'm going to be heading off to join Shmi 150 on the final leg of his Where Shmi tour. It is an epic seven days through Europe. I don't really know where we're going. People keep saying like, what day do you get to Stuttgart? I don't know. I kind of just let Tim plan it all. Um, I'm hoping that he'll give us some kind of guidebook and then we go from there. But I think there's 18 cars joining us on day one, which is insane. Um, but I think it's going to be a really good fun trip. I can't really wait to get going. As you can see, it's an insanely beautiful day today. And Monte Carlo, I love you! It's just such a cool place. So what I thought I'd do is get in the car, go for a bit of a drive and show you what's going on. I mean, it's pretty dead if I'm honest today. Most of the spotters have gone home. Most of the supercars have gone home. But if I kit up and get all my gear on, we might as well go for a drive. And... So there we go. That is Monaco from inside the 4C Monaco edition. Look at it! Also, what is great about Monaco is there are way too many tunnels for anyone's good. <laughs> That's why I want to move here. I want to move here purely for tunnels. Imagine just coming down here at whatever they do, 200 miles an hour. It's unreal. Oh look, that's the new AMG GT. That's pretty good timing, if he's going to come out. I wouldn't mind giving it, oh let's give him a follow. Great timing. Great, great, great timing. I don't think he's been, oh look at all this. Thousands of 458s as well. It's like a red, oh they're all British. Hello, hello mate, you Brit. Okay, so what do we think people? What do we think of this car? It's a weird thing to say, but I think it's too pretty. Does that make any sense? It's like too smooth. I need some more hard edges. It's a sports car really, isn't it? But it's cool. Oh, I'll have to leave him there. I don't know where he's going. That was kind of cool. So we just uh, dumped the cars here. Casually looked in our mirrors and 918! Oh, which is too crazy. With the roof off. Gad is being a baller. And then, not only that, we've got 4GT. So, lunch is done. We are walking back to the car park, which has crazy cars in it. And we're going to check out some of the other. Mate, you look like you've broken your neck. We're going to check out some of the other floors, see what else could be down there. Um, and it's still a beautiful day, so then we're going to head to the harbour and be really even more self indulgent. You haven't got a tan um, yet, I have got a tan, mate. Have you? I look African. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're on our way. So we've come back to the harbour because we're losers. And there isn't much going on in Monaco, so we thought we'd come and look at our own cars. I think that counts as car spotting, probably. We've also brought Johnny to take some photos. Pretty sure the uh, shots on my iPhone will be better, but I'll let him do his thing. And yeah, just having a nice day in the sunshine, if I'm honest. So we've parked up the cars, and we suddenly got a text message saying that a blue P1 had been spotted. <laughs> so we're not in the cars, we're now having to walk, which for me is totally unfamiliar ground. Um, and apparently the P1 is blue. Uh, so we're trying to rush as quickly as possible, and as realistically as possible, down to where the car has been spotted. Apparently it's a red 918 out, so suddenly Monday has come along. So we've been sat here for about an hour waiting for this P1. The car was underneath a cover behind the McLaren dealership. So we had a feeling that it might have been collected, a really soft cover. So we've been hanging around and then we started joking, saying, oh, it'd be cool if it was Lewis Hamilton's car, wouldn't it? You know, just sort of talking about how the fact when he was getting a P1, he lives in Monaco, 
anyway, we were joking, and then suddenly we said, oh, let's just go and have a look, see what's going on. Walk down the back, Lewis Hamilton collecting the car. Not a joke. He was sitting in the car being talked through it, showing all the different details. So now we are standing here waiting for him to leave. Fingers crossed he drives the car straight past us. Oh, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. Pardon? I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. Shit me, there it is. So I actually can't believe that happened. I just gone back to get my car because I thought, oh, you know, if he leaves, I like to do a nice chase video. And as I was getting in my car, I got a call saying, run. <laughs> I can't believe. We've been waiting there for about an hour and a half. So that was officially the worst timing of my entire life. So me and Paul had made a deal. He's not on camera. Oh. Oh, you talk, oh. <laughs> Me. So we'd made a deal, basically, that um, we'd get our cars. So I'm about to get in the car, I got my key out, and my phone starts ringing, it's Paul. I said, by the way, she was here. She was here. Um, okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, so as I'm getting in the car, I get a call from Paul, I pick up and I say, don't tell me, and he goes, run. <laughs> <laughs> so, I literally just say run. So I gunned it. I gunned it. Is that, is that said? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Seb missed everything. <laughs> Seb missed it all. So I thought they were joking. Anyway, I gunned it. Caught up a tiny bit. I, I hope that that was on camera. If not, I have to edit this out. But anyway, what an awesome experience. Because firstly, I got to see Lewis Hamilton. Secondly, I got to see a new P1. Um, so it was good all in all. Thirdly, you got a call from me. <laughs> that was the highlight. And let's face it, none of our days are as bad as this guy over here. <laughs> Even though he's got scissor doors on the Twizzy, he has missed. Oh, the content! <laughs> anyway, I will catch up with you guys soon.